Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, Sictifer here with a uh, mail day slash, uh, oh, I don't know, we call it trade day recap. Went to uh, Omaha Saturday, uh, Boston and me. Hung out with uh, Dawkins 311, RBI Crew 7, Ryan and Neil. Uh, it was a fun day. Uh, Dawkins showed me a good time, showed us a good time. Took us to a couple card shops and uh, a couple other places out, out to eat. So it was a real fun day. I was glad I made it up there. Um, let's see here. Uh, I got a few things. When I got there, he handed me this package. And uh, I couldn't think of a better backdrop than Poppy getting 500 home runs. And speaking of which, he's got a couple in his package. Uh, First off, got a gave me an Eric Ebron, kind of nice touchdown pass yesterday to the Lions, blown it, and that is numbered seven to ninety nine. Um, got David Ortiz mini, so set that on there, and then a Matt Barnes. That blue just pops on there. It's lighting. Doing the old partly cloudy setup here, and then finally numbered to 99, uh, David Ortiz jersey bat out of Diamond King. So put that on there too. Uh, so thanks again, Will, for that. Uh, let's see, I'll show them last. Uh, busted a box. Uh, Boston and me both busted a box of Topps Chrome. They had two boxes left. And uh, I'll show you some of the highlights. Boston actually hit a really nice Rizzo, but uh, he owned it for about 30 seconds and sold it to Will. So Boston was going to give it to him, and Will decided he was going to pay him for it. So uh, I really like these cards. Uh, this was the one I pulled. The gallery of greats, Jose Batista. I think those are just beautiful cards. Um, and then Boston pulled the pool holes. And then the Adam Jones gold. And the golds are numbered to 50. They have orange and red and uh, supers too. So, those. Uh, we both hit a Chris Bryant. That's actually the second Chris Bryant I've hit. And then my two autos, like I said, his auto was a Rizzo and then some crappy Yankee guy. He kind of got hosed all his boxes he bust that day. He took his own money up that he worked for and uh, bought a bunch of boxes and got a bunch of crappy Yankees that aren't worth anything. So uh, then I got this one, uh, Dalton Pompey, Pompey, I can't remember how they say it, but uh, from the Blue Jays. And then this one was really nice for the PC. Here's Snake Castillo, purple. This nice, nice looking card. Uh, that is number 250. 21 of 250. So, I said that'll go in the Red Sox PC. Uh, made a couple trades. Um, went to a place called The Card Shop. That's what, just the name of it. Awesome marketing. <laughs> uh, and I made a trade. I took a bunch of doubles and just a bunch of stuff, low end stuff that I had for trade, and ended up making some really good trades. I thought so. Uh, first off, uh, Boston and me were going through a baseball box, and I told him to pick out some cards if he liked them. I tried to trade for him, and he found a Clint Frazier that he didn't have for his Indians PC, and then a Francisco Lindor. He didn't have one of him, so he wanted one of those. Nice looking card. Um, keep hitting my light. Oh, and then I traded for. I didn't have an auto. This guy, I won one. Max Scherzer, got a five star. Really like that photo. Nice, decent auto too. So, one of the best pitchers in baseball. And then he had this really cheap there. So, or what I thought was cheap. So I picked it up. But a Peyton Manning out of SPX. What year is that? Oh, I can't. Th I think it's 2003. Yeah, 2003. 
SPX. Not on card, but I don't know what you call that. On something. <laughs> Still a nice card. I really like that a lot. I've always liked that card when I've seen it. Um, and then I made another trade at Omaha Sports Cards, which is the where Beckett was grading. It's one of the reasons why we went up there. That hang out with Will and Ryan and Neil. I knew Ryan and Neil were going to be there. Uh, first off, I, this was all one trade. This is a card from my childhood. It's not in the best condition, but back when I was a kid, I traded for this card, and then like a moron, I traded it for like. I don't know, eight or ten top 90s tops packs. So I finally got it back, but the 82 Donruss Calrican Jr. Like I said, it's not in really condition. There's a nice crease there. It's more for sentimental value than anything. I think the corners ding too. Wasn't looking to pick up a really nice one. Just something to say I have back in my collection. I didn't. That's just the price he had on it, but still cool for me. Glad to have that one back. And then a uh, Henry Owens out of Inception. Nice young left hand pitcher. He's actually on my now defunct fantasy team that totally frickin' tanked at the end of the season. Worst frickin' slide I've ever had in my life. I couldn't believe I had such a great team. Still in shock. I can't believe that they did that so bad in the last three weeks. Anyway, there's always next year. Um, and this one I was really thrilled to have. I'm going to take it out of the magnetic. It's scratched up a tiny bit, but numbered 7 of 25. Nice on card auto out of National Treasure with Clayton Kershaw. I know notable nicknames, and apparently his nickname is his name, <laughs> but still a beautiful, nice on card auto. So, very, very happy with that. Number 7 of 25. So, that is as far as the trades. Um, like I said, it was real fun hanging up there. I definitely want to go up again and hang out. Um, and the real reason I went up there was to get a certain card graded, and it didn't come back as good as I wanted, but still came back really good. I know a lot, I know Will posted on Facebook, um, but uh, the the Enfuego Kangaroo Junior got a nine five. Just I wanted to grade it raw. Uh, I thought I was going to be doing better, and then, like, the night before I went there, I'd never noticed it before, but uh, let's see if I could see that that dot right there in the gold. It's apparently manufacturing, but I don't know if that was what gave it the 9.5 grade or not, but still a great grade. Still beautiful card. Gorgeous card, so I'll just keep it in the PC for now, but gorgeous. That's the one Boston pulled from his box of Nationals. So that was that for the day. Um, and then I got some pickups I want to show. Uh, first off, uh, Rich Breeze No Inks uh, won this and had the seller send it directly to me for the Jackie Robinson collection. Nice Jackie Robinson refractor I didn't have. He asked me if I had this one. He got a super cheap deal on it, so thanks again, Rich. Um... And then this card I've always wanted. One finally came up for auction. It actually went higher than I thought it would. One I've only seen two cards and one was sitting on eBay forever for too high for what I thought it should go for. But uh, Topps Archive reprint of Ron Kittle. So 1990 reprint. So nice card. There's the decal. Sticker. Um, and next, if it's all too low, picked up his regular refractor. Boston hit this in his blaster. That's right. So, hit that one. And then got his gallery black. Um, so, got that. Those aren't numbered. And then I got his gold. Those are just gorgeous. God, I love these cards. And those are number to 50. I also have his orange on the way that I just won. So uh, I still have his red to five and his super to go, which probably won't be happening. So, And then oh, I'm just thrilled about this card. Uh, apparently someone didn't know what they had, and Tulo has a variation. 
in chrome this year. This is celebrating. There's a regular and there's a variation. But somebody listed this as a 99 cent buy it now, $2 shipping. Uh, these were going for like 30 bucks. They've down to about 15, 20, 15, or 15 to 20 now. But uh, still freaking awesome. I can't believe I got that for three bucks shipped. So thank you, seller, for not paying attention to what you had. <laughs> so just came in today. I was waiting on this card. And then finally, uh, one once I seen these cards, I had to have one. I think they're just gorgeous looking card. I mean, just the picture is cool, and I was thrilled to see this card that they made it. Uh, and I got a platinum version, blue platinum, which I'm really happy about. But the Immaculate Ink College or Collegiate Ink to the whiskey, number to 10. Just love that picture of him. The sevens would say that's salad. Actually, it looks like he has to poop. Still cool, though. Uh, I didn't know him and uh, Longoria were on the same. He played short and Longoria played third. I did not know that, so I may get the Longoria to go with this one. Thought about doing the set until I seen the checklist is just paniniized. They ruined it. Uh, short prints to five for big name guys. Just ridiculous. So thanks for screwing that up, Panini. Would have been a cool set to do. Um, and that is it. Uh, I don't know how long it's been. Probably a long video. But uh, thanks for watching. And uh, thanks again, Will, for the great time. Thanks. Thanks for watching. That's it. Have a good one.